Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I've come over to Argyle, to the Cowell Peninsula in particular, because we have quite a grey overcast day and that's perfect conditions for waterfall photography. And I'm at the absolutely beautiful Pox Glen, just outside the noon. So uh, let's go. that almost iridescent green there, that is incredible. Beautiful, it's a great location, definitely recommend it if you're in the area, it's well worth a visit. this tree here, just clinging onto the edge there, all for a little bit of mist, that would look amazing. This is one of my favourite scenes in the Glen. I just love the way those stairs are climbing up alongside the, the waterfall there. And in the right conditions, this can look very dramatic. It was quite, quite muted today, but still lovely. I'll grab a shot of this. Okay, let me talk you through this. This is the first shot of the day. Basically what I've done is I've got my 16 to 35 mil lens on and uh, Probably the camera can't pick that up, but I've set it to 16mm, so I'm taking in everything from that log to these stairs and I'm underexposing it. What I've done is I've, I've done one exposure at one and a half seconds uh, just to try and capture some of the detail in the, in the darkness here, but I really want the bright kind of U-shape there and the water and this reflection to be the only thing that's clearly visible, if you see what I mean. So I'm then underexposed, doing an underexposure. And uh, it, it looks quite dramatic when you underexpose. So I'm just trying to find the right combination of uh, shutter speed and aperture, because I do still want some blurring in the water, but not too much, because I want to retain some of the detail in there. And as I say, I do want to retain the stairs, because I really like the stairs. And this coloration up here in the brighter part but everything else I think I'll render in darkness either in post-processing or just through exposure so uh, I'm just grabbing a couple of shots here camera's on a tripod I'm using a two second delay and uh, yeah it looks all right at the back of the camera 
I'm going to move slightly further round here and shoot kind of along so that almost the waterfall and the stairs are in parallel to see if there's a, a shot there. But yeah, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. Right, I'm a little bit further along. As I said, I'm, I've got them running kind of parallel now. And what I've done is I've set up a portrait orientation shot. Still at 16 mil, but I'm having to tip, uh, tilt the camera down the way because I don't want to include that bright sky up there. And at 16 mils, that gets included unless I, I tilt the camera down. So as you can see there, I'm, I'm pretty much just, I'm focused on the waterfall shooting at 1.3 seconds at f11 and again as before trying to render everything in darkness apart from the waterfall um, those uh, lovely greens there and the reflection and also just try to retain some of the detail in the stairs there <laughs> that's the theory anyway if that one's what i'll put it on the screen just now So, a little shout out to one of the subscribers. Um, sorry, I can't for life from remember who it was, but somebody messaged me the other week there and asked if I'd been to this location. And it got me thinking that I hadn't been for so long. So that's the reason I'm here. So big thank you to you. I'll put your name along the bottom. Uh, sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, it was a very good recommendation. So in that vein, if anybody else knows of any locations or has any locations that they'd like to see me visit, uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll try and get along, see if I can make a video. In the meantime, I'm going back to take some more photographs because this is beautiful. This is how I imagine that Crick Hope Lynn would have looked back in the day. Uh, I think I mentioned in the video there that it was once a really popular location. If you've not seen that video, I'll put a link up just now. but. Basically it was once a very popular location and unfortunately it's kind of sadly declined now. But at one point there was five footbridges over the river. We've not had a stunning for a while have we? This is stunning, believe me. Again I'm loving these mosses. The colour in that moss is just incredible. I think the only reason I'm videoing this is so I don't get accused of having up the saturation in the final image. Because I think I might actually have to tone that down, that just looks unnatural. Uh, I like this, I don't know if you can spot that there, but there's some boulders, mossy covered boulders, just sitting on top of each other, and through the gap you can see the, the little cascade beyond. The problem is, you can't see where the photograph is, 
it looks nice, it looks quite picturesque, but I don't know that that would be an interesting photograph. I'll keep looking around, it's possible we get down to it, there's a lot of ledge there that I could get down on. But even down there I don't see quite where the shot would be. Yeah, and if you move too far to the side you obviously lose the effect of seeing the, the gap. And as uh, you can see through the gap but <laughs> I think there's a photograph. A little bit further out here is a little bit better. If I can maybe about that kind of crop, include the boulder, include the gap, but you've also got this just a hint of the cascade at the side there, and then obviously that cascade beyond. I'm not sure if that'll work, but I'm going to grab it anyway as a reference shot just in case. Yeah, I'm not sure that one worked. If it did, I'll pop it on the screen just now, but it didn't look great on the back of the camera. This, on the other hand, does. That looks as if it's got a bit of potential. Again, I can get down quite close. Perhaps even include these little cascades here and that. If only that big branch wasn't there, that might be a little bit of uh, cloning later on, I think, get rid of that. Yeah, just way too many waterfalls here. You keep stopping every couple of minutes. Anyone else think that looks like a face? That's uh, it's quite uncanny that. Looks exactly like a face, I think. I think I just found Puck in Puck's Glen. It's quite, quite uncanny that. Right, this is getting weird. 
That looks like a face in there as well. What's going on? Right, I'm taking a shot of that. Can anybody else see that? Leave me a comment if you can see that. That looks very like a face in there. It's a bit weird though. So anyway, pretty much at the top now. So rather than continue over and back down the other side of the glen, I'm going to retrace my steps and uh, oh well, put this behind me. Yeah, I'm just going to retrace my steps now and uh, grab a few more shots on the way back down. Finally, if uh, you do decide to visit um, come early, it's quite a popular uh, location as you can imagine, it's beautiful. But uh, I was here at about quarter to eight, nine on a Sunday morning and there was already people here. And well, that's not an issue, obviously. Uh, what is a problem is the path is quite narrow in places and you're almost certainly going to be using a tripod. And you don't really want to be that guy that blocks the path and holds everybody up. Also, a lot of people bring their dogs here. And every dog I've seen today has been off the lead. And uh, if you're not paying attention, then a nice, friendly, inquisitive dog can run up right behind you and knock your tripod into the water. Almost happened to me about 10 minutes ago. So uh, just bear that in mind if you're coming. So that's it for another video, hope you enjoyed, give us a little thumbs up if you did, hit subscribe if you've not subscribed yet, um, do consider joining the mailing list for the newsletter, that's going to contain a lot of stuff that doesn't make it onto social media and uh, there'll be kind of exclusive discount codes for various things, I'm, I'm hoping to have at least one um, calendar this year. I'm also looking to have possibly up to three photographic books coming out in the next 12 months. So subscribers to the newsletter will know all about them long before anybody else. So yeah, in the meantime, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.